Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel with my inspiring designs with me, Justine, where all I want to do is inspire you. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to create, or no, I'm going to show you how to create. Let's try that again. If you're new here on my channel, welcome. Uh, damn, it's been a while. See, it's been three weeks since I uploaded my last video and I have lost my edge. All right, let's try this again. If you're new here on my channel, welcome. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and the bell to get notified on all the decor, design, and DIY projects I do here on my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna shout out one of my subscribers, Blair Thomas. She's been asking me for a dessert table setup for a while now. Shout out to you, Blair. I see your comments. I didn't get the full desserts for the table, but I am gonna go over my techniques when it comes to creating a dessert tables ideas or setup if you're interested in some ideas when it comes to setting up your dessert table for your next event please keep watching secret number one is to obviously use a cloth or polyester tablecloth now you want to make sure that it's something that you can utilize from time to time especially if you're running a business and I tend to use the texture one I just had it somebody gave me this and you want to make sure that the tablecloth almost touches the floor but not all the way and I'll show you this right now secret number two I use Dollar Tree tablecloths as a runner yes it is a secret that I use I found that if you just open it and then place it on the table you can just literally roll it out and it acts like a table runner Secret number three is to use decorations and don't stray away from the Dollar Tree. They have pretty quality stuff that you can kind of get away with. But the reason why I say this, if you're on a tight budget, using decorations will be more beneficial because you can kind of offset the eye to be distracted. So that's why people put decorations on the table to kind of distract the eye, but to also emphasize what the overall theme is. So secret number four is to use what you already have. I already had these cupcake stands that I got from Hobby Lobby on sale with the 40% coupon. Definitely wait for those to go on sale. Um, but you wanna make sure you have different heights as well. That's why I chose the cupcake stands along with these two glass vases. Now, again, we wanna go with the same thing of we don't have a lot to spend on desserts. So we're going to use a technique that I learned. So this is just a wrapping paper that I kind of circled up and placed in the glass vase. What I love about this is that you can have it match any type of theme that you want. I actually used this for a Kate Spade party for my sister's birthday this year. And look, it works perfectly for this theme. So secret five is artificial flowers. Now you want to get your flowers when they're either going out of season or something. I got these when they were in Marshalls. Um, they were three dollars, but it utilizes. I can keep them forever. Real flowers are great, but the only real flowers that I tend to use in a dessert table are carnations because they're cheap and baby's breath. But other than that, I'm using artificial flowers. Now these have a realistic feel, so I tend to use a tool, which is something you want to get if you're running your own business with flowers i think this is called like a wire cutter i don't know if you know what this is called let me know in the comments down below and you're just going to cut it and kind of you know do what you can because this is extremely hard i'm letting you know right now i always struggle with these big flowers but i get it done
Okay, so secret number six is to utilize various heights on a dessert table. Please, if you're decorating your dessert tables, make sure you are having different various heights. So if you have a cake, make sure you bring it up. Cupcake stands, vases, they all work. It's more appealing to the eye when the eye sees various heights when it comes to desserts. Secret number seven is to reuse and repurpose. This particular decoration was from my previous video, which I will link in the description below, but I'm utilizing it as decoration on the dessert table as well. So again, make sure you're utilizing various heights. So I'm using this cake stand, it's normally for a cake, but I'm actually gonna use it for my decor piece. It's simple. Then the next thing you're going to want to do is utilize mason jars. Mason jars are a go-to. They you could be utilized for anything. Flowers, centerpieces. In this case, I'm using it for candy. Someone in my house got to my candy corn, so I have to use whatever I had, which I'm not a fan, but I utilize that. But again, now the secret number eight is to use candy that simulates the same color theme that you're going for. So if you notice, I have the black and orange candy that I'm gonna put inside the mason jars. Again, we're going to separate the candy corn and kind of put the candy in there. This is just an example. You can obviously buy more candy. I just used what I had. Make sure you're utilizing what you have. So again, this is from my previous video. I'm just gonna use some of the spider webs. If you're throwing a Halloween party, this stuff is cheap and you can stretch it as long as possible. So if you're throwing a Halloween party this week, make sure you use those webs from either Party City or Dollar General because it's only for a dollar. When creating a dessert table, you want to make sure you are distracting the eye from what you don't want people to notice. So in this particular case, I don't want people to notice the gaps and that I don't have a lot of desserts. So I'm utilizing the spider webs to kind of cover up the space and give it more of an illusion that there's more going on than what there really is. If you like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. I hope you guys like this video, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye. You guys are in for a great treat because I'm gonna be posting two videos this week although I'm gonna give a shout out to the winner on November 1st this Friday I will be posting an additional video <laughs> so make sure you stay tuned to find out if you are the winner I have lost my edge guys it's been too long that's the problem that's the problem when you take a break you lose the momentum